Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to set up Scanter Folder on a Konica Minolta C200. So, first off, we need our IP address. So we go to run cmd, then IP config. So we can see our IP address is 10.10.17.105. We open new text document. Then enter it in here. So it's 10.10.17.105. Make sure that's correct. That is correct. Right. Now we need the IP address of our copier, which is in devices and printers. We're going to pull my print properties and ports. It decides to work. There we go. 10.10.17.184. So that's the IP address of our, IP address of our copier. So, <coughs> what we need to do from here, we need to go onto the IP address of our copier via our browser. Then we go to scan, click on the new file, new user box even, FTP, enter a name, so Adam, IP address of our machine, which is from what we had before, 10.10.17.105. Username and password. This account doesn't have a username and password, but a password of it enabled, so we don't need to input these credentials. File path dot port number 21 anonymous. We want it on for now. So apply. That looks about right. Right. So now I have this Adam box here. So we need to now we need to install FTP utility, which can be found on the Conic Minolta website. Like my search FTP utility. Here we go. There it is. You've got FTP utility here. Press download. It'll download a file. Once you've installed that, you should get these two options: FTP settings and FTP utility. You first want to launch FTP settings. In the meantime, if you create yourself a root folder for the scans to go, so that will be scans. I've already got a folder called scans, so I'll call it scans1. There we go. Browse. Um, scans one. Okay. Right, we have the dot in our uh, web browser because th that means that we use the address on here. So we don't have to input a manual address. And anonymous is basically just if you're not using a password or a username. So press OK. Yes, want to reboot FTP utility. Hello, so we're now at the copier and I'm going to show you what you have to do to send a scan to your computer. So first, press press the scan, you get to this screen, press Adam, which I created earlier, press start. As you see, when I press finish and press start again, a little icon will pop up here. If it disappears, it means it's got to your destination correctly. So, Thank you, and I'll see you back at the PC. Hello. So we're back at the PC now, and as you can see, our scan folder is occupied by the file we scanned. So that sums up scan folder. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.